Have you seen this sad blank square character called Tofu? When an app can't display an emoji? New emojis are constantly being added to the Unicode standards. But since they are bundled as a font, your phone's emojis are set in stone with each OS release. Well, they were. With the Emoji Compat library, part of Jetpack, your app can get backwards compatible emoji support on devices with API level 19 and higher and get rid of Tofu. For a given charge sequence, Emoji Compat can identify the emojis, replace them with emoji spans, and then render the glyphs. On versions prior to API level 19, well, you'll still get the Tofu characters. Emoji Compat builds on the downloadable font mechanism to make sure that you always have the latest emoji available. So if you want the emoji font to be downloaded when your app is installed from Play Store, add this metadata in your manifest. Like this, the font will be downloaded and ready to be used when your app starts for the first time. Before being used, the Emoji Compat library needs a one-time asynchronous setup. We recommend doing this in your launch activity or in the first activity that uses emojis, like this. When using the downloadable font configuration, create your font request and create the font request emoji compat config object. If you can't use downloadable fonts, then you can bundle the emoji font like this. Note that the size of the font is multiple megabytes, increasing your APK size considerably. On top of this, you will have to ship updates of your app whenever the emoji font is updated. Independent of the way you're using it, the initialization takes at least 150 milliseconds, even up to a few seconds. So you might want to get notified about its state. For this, use the register init callback method. Here's a pro tip for debugging. You can enable a span indicator like this. Display emojis by using widgets that extend from app compat widgets. You can pre-process a charge sequence using the process method. You can then reuse the result instead of the initial raw string in any widget that can render spanned instances and needs to display the same string. So for example, if you're doing your own custom drawing, you can use this to display emoji text. If you want to add emoji support to a text view subclass beyond the provided ones, so for example, to an app compat checkbox, you can use the emoji text view helper class. So now with the new emoji compat library, I can see that my friend isn't asking me if I want tofu for brunch, but avocados. And the answer for this is of course, yes.